The relay is a very useful device in electricity and electronics and basically it is a switch that is controlled by applying a current. The relay can have contacts that are normally closed or normally open or you can have both in a single relay. It is one of the oldest devices that were invented, older than transistors of course and even much older than vacuum tubes. In fact, the first computers were built entirely using relays. When we start with electricity or electronics, it is natural to be confused about the relay pins. But actually it is very easy to identify the pins and now we will see how to do it. Every relay has a coil, the white one, which when energized activates the contacts. So of all the pins of the relay, two of them correspond to the coil and the coil has a resistance of some hundred ohms. So it is easy to identify the pair that correspond to the coil because you will measure some resistance in that pair. All other pairs of contacts will only give you continuity or not because they correspond to the contacts. Let's check this small relay. We can see that it says 5 volts which corresponds to the voltage of the coil. At the other side we can see that it has 5 pins. So let's now check with the multimeter to see which pair will give a resistance. With the multimeter in the ohms scale, let's proceed to check our relay. Let's check first this pair here and we can see that we do not have any resistance. This is not the coil. Let's check this other two. Nothing. Another pair. And here we can see 74 ohms. So these two correspond to the contacts of the coil. The other three pins are the contacts pins. So we have three pins to identify. Let me draw them. Here are our three, our three pins. <clears throat> One of them corresponds to a common contact and internally we have a connection between two of them. We have a switch that moves in this way. So these two contacts correspond to a switch that is normally closed. When we energize the coil, this moves to the other position and now we have a connection here and not here. So when we check with the multimeter, we will see continuity between these two and not between these two. And when we energize the coil, the situation changes to the other way. Here we can see it. This in the middle is the common contact. It is making contact with one of the pins, but not with the other. And when we energize the coil, you can see how it moves from one position to the other. Let's check the pins of our relay with the multimeter to check continuity. Remember that these two are the coil contacts, so we have these three pins to identify. Let's check a pair to see if we have continuity. Here we do not have. Let's see this other pair. Here we do have continuity, but we don't know which of the two is the common. Let's suppose that this is the common, so here we have continuity, and in the other we must not have. Okay? We do not have continuity here. And in order to check 
If we are correct, we need to energize the coil. When we energize the coil, in this, two pair, in this pair, when we have continuity, we will not have. And in this order, we will have continuity when we energize the coil. Okay, let's see. Here I have the terminals of the power supply. And you can hear the coil when energizes the contacts. So, let's check. Here is our supposed normally closed contact. We have continuity. And now let me energize the coil. There you have it, no continuity. And the other pin, which does not have continuity when we energize the coil, now we have continuity. So we have succeeded in identifying all the contacts, all the pins of the relay. These two are the coil contacts, the common, normally closed and normally open. Some relays such as this one are more complicated because we have two sets of contacts. Identifying the coil is easy in this case, these are the contacts of the coil. You will measure some resistance. And here we have common, normally closed and normally open. This is one set of contacts. And we have another set, which also has a common, normally closed and normally open. It will take more time to identify all of them, but the procedure is the same. That's all for today. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page and see you in the next video.